Kyle Hendricks is done for the day. The Iowa starter leaves after six innings, and he is replaced by Chang Yong Lim, right-hander from South Korea who pitched last year in Japan. Chang Yong Lim coming into the game and replacing Kyle Hendricks, who gave the Iowa Cubs a quality start today. Hendricks gave up two runs on six hits, walked a couple, struck out one, 67 pitches, 47 strikes, and now Lim to work in the seventh. Sounds have a 2-1 to lead. It'll be Hiley Station, Anderson De La Rosa, and Stephen Parker against the right-hander Lim. Historic Manster Station in Goodlettsville's Moss Wright Park has living history tours Monday through Friday. Visit manskerstation.org for more details. And don't forget to check out Goodlettsville Parks on Facebook. Station is one for two today. He's grounded a short and singled. Finally, switch hitter. Batting from the left, Lim with a bright blue glove that he pulls over his head, delivers, and it's a fastball inside. Mentioning last half inning, the Sounds have had 16 guys this year that have played with Milwaukee at some point. Many of them are still there, but a total of 16 guys. That's not including... Guys on Major League Rehab assignment. That's just guys getting called up. Josh Prince, Blake Lolly, Hiram Burgos, they all went up in April. And Burgos spent about a month and a half there, but was on the disabled list and still is. Now the 1-1 pitch coming from Lim. He pauses mid-windup with the hands above the head. Now continues and offers inside a ball. Sounds at K-Rod, Francisco Rodriguez with them for a couple of days back in May. And eventually he got traded to the Orioles. Donovan Hand first went up in late May, was there for about three months, and is now back with Milwaukee. Got called up yesterday as a September call-up. The 2-1 to station, misses outside. Scooter Jeanette went up for the very first time in early June, and he... Eventually came back to the Sounds, and then since July 30th has been with Milwaukee. Everyday second baseman now with Ricky Weeks injured. Limbs 3-1. Stacia swings and pops it up. Right side, foul ground, Rowan over. Does he have room? He does, and he makes the catch. Good play by Greg Rowan. Reaching into the first row... And taking that ball away from a fan. One away for De La Rosa. Tyler Thornburg went up to the big leagues in early June and then came back to the Sounds and has been with Milwaukee since late June. Caleb Gindel with the Brewers right now. A couple of different tenures with Milwaukee. Johnny Helweg spent about two weeks with the Brewers and probably will be one of their September call-ups over the next couple of days. Sean Halton has been with the Brewers a couple of different times, totaling about six weeks with Milwaukee this year. Chris Davis made the team out of the spring, came to the Sounds in early May, and has been with the Brewers full-time since late July. Now the one over to De La Rosa. Bounced on the ground. Fair down the third baseline. Past the diving hole. De La Rosa digging for a double. And he's got one standing up. A one-out double for Anderson De La Rosa. It'll bring up Parker. Two to one sounds in the seventh. And also Rob Wooten and Alfredo Figaro. Two guys that have played for the sounds and have been called up to Milwaukee. Figaro with the Brewers most of the year before coming to the Sounds in August and joining their rotation for a few outings and now back with Milwaukee. And Wooten's been with the Brewers since late July. So a total of 16 Sounds this year have been with Milwaukee at some point this season. Pretty impressive and lengthy list of guys that have gotten a good opportunity with the crew. Here's the pitch to Parker, and it's outside for a ball. It 
Sounds also had Jeff Bianchi here on a rehab assignment. Marco Estrada was here for rehab. Now the 1-0 pitch. Swung on and missed by Parker. Chris Narvison has pitched for the Brewers this year. In addition to being a sound, and he, now he's on the DL to finish the year with a, a nerve issue near his left shoulder. The 1-1 to Parker from Changyong Lim. Here it is. And a fastball strike around the letters. Well, a final from Oklahoma City. The Memphis Redbirds did not win their game. Oklahoma City with a walk-off win against the Redbirds to beat Memphis 2-1. to one. So the plot thickens in the American North Division. De La Rosa at second, the 1-2 pitch, and Parker yanks it foul. All Memphis had to do was win its game or get Omaha to lose its game. And the Redbirds lost in Oklahoma City. So now the division will be Omaha's if Omaha wins its game against Round Rock. And the Storm Chasers have a 6-4 lead in the sixth inning in Nebraska. Carlos Pena has homered for Omaha. Mike Bianucci for Round Rock. Here's the 1-2. And it's inside on Parker. A couple of days ago it seemed like a lock that Memphis would probably win the division. They own the tiebreaker, so all they have to do is finish in a tie, and they'll win it. But now, after two days in a row where a win would get them in, the Redbirds have lost. And Omaha can clinch the division with a win at home against Round Rock. And Omaha is winning as they get toward the late innings in that game. Ground ball is short by Parker. Masonette's got it and throws the first in time. De La Rosa goes to third, and there are two away. Sounds are up by a run here in the seventh. And Johnny Lowe will get an at-bat. Lowe's batted several times this year, having been a long man out of the bullpen and occasionally been a starter. He's had some at-bats this season. And he'll have one here in the seventh. Lim to Lowe. The pitch to Johnny. Swung on and missed. Nothing in one. Low as a hitter. One for eight this year. He had a double against these Iowa Cubs back in late May. The 0 1 pitch. And that one just misses outside. So this final week of the year has had some twists and turns in the division the Sounds are in. Yet Iowa was hot there for a while. Iowa went to Omaha and swept a four-game set before coming, coming here. Now low swings and misses. So it looked like Iowa might make a run at it. But then the I-Cubs got cooled off by the Sounds and eventually eliminated. Memphis then looked like it would win it. Still could. But the Redbirds, if they win it, will be backing their way in. And Omaha, after getting swept by Iowa, looked like it was in trouble. Now the Storm Chasers control their fate. Low takes low. Omaha is up 6-4 in the sixth inning in Nebraska. And Memphis has lost its game in Oklahoma City in walk-off fashion for the second time in a row. Crazy games there in Bricktown. Here's the 2-2 pitch, and it's dribbled foul. Last night, Memphis had a 4-0 lead in the bottom of the ninth inning. Two outs, nobody on. So, division locked up, right? No problem. Oklahoma City scores four runs to tie the game. Apparently, there was a controversial home run, a a fair or foul question. It was ruled fair for a game-tying Oklahoma City home run, and the Red Hawks then won it in extras. There's a swing and a miss by Lowe. He strikes out to end the inning. And then today, the Red Hawks break the tie in the bottom of the ninth to beat Memphis. And now the Redbirds, in order to win their division, have to hope that Round Rock rallies in Omaha. Sounds don't score. They get a hit. They leave one. We'll take it to the eighth on Labor Day. Two to one sounds. 